here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap is spring inspired and it's one of those soaps that I'm gonna need everyone to cross their fingers and toes and wish me all the good luck that you can because I'm not quite sure if this soap is gonna turn out how I envisioned. But you guys know me, I'm always like living on the wild, wild side when it comes to like designs and you know, using fragrances that I probably shouldn't. <laughs> But that is the the worry with this soap is that the design of the embeds that I want on the inside and the outside line up, they might turn out looking a little more abstract than I want, but I'm sure it'll look great. It'll turn out as soap and you guys will get the point or I'll get really lucky and it'll be like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and then of course the fragrance I'm using is known to accelerate, so. Wish me luck. All right, I have combined my lye solution that has Tessa silk and sodium lactate into my oils that has coconut milk powder and kaolin clay. And I'm whisking this together because like I said, the fragrance is going to misbehave. And I am really into doing sculpted layers right now. So that is what I wanna do. I wanna make a little sculpted layer before I stick blend all of this batter. We wanna pour off a layer and um, sculpt it. So that's the plan. All right, whisking this all together. Looks like it's all incorporated. Let's pour off some green and I'll have to drop a little picture of the design that I'm going for and share that with you guys. But don't laugh at my drawings. I am not an artist in that sense. Into the big cup is some laurel green mica and into the little cup is some enchantment and those are both by Nurture. Just want to do a little bit of a swirl in the bottom layer which is going to represent grass. a very thin trace because if this is going to accelerate we don't want it to already be thick. The fragrance is called Honeysuckle Hollow and it is the inspiration for this entire soap. It has uh, notes of spice rose, warm blossom, of sun-kissed honeysuckle, and sweet jasmine. So let's see how it behaves. Just going to hand mix it in and then I'm going to get my molds over here. Do a little in in the pot swirl with this and start pouring. We'll let that set up and then I'll start sculpting. So far it's it's okay. It could be um, very deceiving but I'm hoping it doesn't backfire on me. Being that the design is based around this fragrance, you know, it would be the reason why the whole thing fails. But let's do a little in the pot swirl and get my molds over here. Start pouring. I can confirm that is a very misbehaved fragrance. It did start to thicken up, but I got it in the mold in time. But then when I tried to sculpt it, it was just like a gloopy, gloppy mess and not fun, <laughs> very messy, and probably going to cause problems in the next part of this design. So don't uncross your fingers yet. All right, I've added some Twilight Mica from Mad Micas with some titanium dioxide dispersed in water to make a sky.
So I think in order to avoid disaster, I'm going to pour off some of this in a cup and pour the fragrance in, pour that into the mold, and then continue on with my design before I just ruin the whole thing. on the inside of the soap I want to look like a stem and leaves and so I have a piece of melt and pour here that is going to represent the stem hopefully that can stay up there if that batter is thick enough and then on either side of that I'm going to put some soap dough canes that I made that hopefully represent leaves and so that is the tricky part is getting them to stay in place and line up on the side of this Right, the icing took forever to set up. It's like the base of it had no problem thickening on me, but then trying to get the soap frosting ready. This soap is playing games with me. All right, Wilton 8 beat and some white frosting going on top of this soap. on top of this I have these little purple melt and pour butterflies that will go on the side. I also have some of these little green leaves just doing all the spring vibes in this soap and these will go on the side and then I have some calendula petals and I will sprinkle on at the end. Let's get all of these little butterflies on. The reason why I chose to do this fragrance was because, if I recall, a subscriber had mentioned that I should do a honeysuckle soap. And it was a little late in the season and practical me was like, eh, maybe next year I'll do it and I'll hang on to that idea. And so I saw another soap maker use this fragrance or suggest this fragrance. And I thought, I'm going to look that up. So I looked it up and I was like, I love all of those notes. Well, I love Honeysuckle and I love Jasmine. And the reviews for it said that it smelled like the real thing. It really smelled like Honeysuckle. And so I was like, I got to use it. Honeysuckle reminds me of my childhood. I think everywhere I've grown up, there's been Honeysuckles around. And I just love the smell. And I love picking them and every once in a while I'll do that little thing where you pull the little stem off and you get that little drop of honey in there but it, honeysuckles just remind me of being a kid and so when we got our house I was like I need honeysuckle in my front yard 
I also like jasmine and garden gardenia. <clears throat> and so I planted the jasmine and I planted the gardenia and they didn't do very well. They died and I don't know if it's because of the climate, it gets too cold here in Maryland in the winter, or if the soil was just not good, we have lots of clay here, or if it was just too moist. So those never did well. Honeysuckle, on the other hand, I made the mistake of planting honeysuckle in front of my house, thinking when you open the windows and there's a breeze, it'll bring in the smell of the flowers, whether it's lilac I have out front, the jasmine, the gardenia, or the honeysuckle. Well, the honeysuckle has <laughs> taken over the front of the house, so that was a mistake. And I'm still fighting with it to calm it down and tame it. But don't ever, ever plant honeysuckle near your house because it's very invasive. And it will grow way up and you won't be able to get it back down. <laughs> so lesson learned there. I will smell it. I like going on walks in the spring and the summer and just walking by. There's a creek around the corner and a lot of other people have it growing in their backyards. And you can just get like a whiff of it every now and then and know that's like there's honeysuckle around. So, soap will have to do, and it's kind of been a struggle with this fragrance, but I think I handled it very well, especially with pouring off that layer before putting my embeds in there or this design wouldn't have happened. Well, we still don't know if it happened until I cut into it. So I'm gonna continue putting on these embeds and we will wait 24 hours to cut it. When I get done doing the soap, I am on my way to meet up with one of my friends to go see the new movie Emma. It is out in theaters, and her and I have been dying to see it, but we're like, we have to do it like a girl's date on a day where the boys are at work and her and I are off so that we don't have to drag them along because I don't think they would appreciate it. They do a lot of things with us, but going to see this movie is probably not up their alley. So we'll go to the movies, her and I, and then we will meet up to have dinner with the boys. But I am really excited to see it. It has a lot of really good actors in it, like Miranda Hart's in it, and I think it's just going to be real, real fun and such a good laugh. She's never seen the original with, I don't even know if it is the original, but to me it's the original, the one with Gwyneth Paltrow in it, because I grew up watching that one. Big fan of Jane Austen, so hopefully this does it justice in some sense, as far as the story, or just, I just want to go laugh, I just want to watch a movie and laugh. I haven't been to the movies in a while, it's not something we do very often. And I'm hoping, you know, it's not going to be too crowded. It'll just be a girl's day. I've got our candy all together. We're going to get a popcorn. And I will let you guys know tomorrow what I think of the movie when I come back to cut this. Alright, let's top this off with a little glitter. And call it a day. Little glitter. Yeah, a lot of glitter. Oh, that's just magical. It reminds me of, like... I don't know, a little fairy garden. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it looks like on the inside. And <laughs> cross my fingers. Don't forget. Let's see. Not bad at all. I like it. I think maybe next time I do this I should try and get two flowers in there instead of just one. There is room. Getting lots of drag marks from that calendula petal on top but that is what happens when you work with botanicals and your soap cutter is too small <laughs> to turn things on the side like high top soaps. But it's good. All in all, I think it turned out. Even that little grassy layer down at the bottom. You guys are probably thinking, yeah, that's cute, not Tierra, but where is the rest of the flower? Like, you're missing something there. <laughs> that is where these little melt and pour pieces come in handy. And I'm just going to put, like, heat some melt and pour up and just kind of stick them all in there like that. That is the plan. So we got a little, like, 
3D in bed going on there. That is my design. I think it turned out really, really cool. What do you guys think? It smells really good, and those leaves are really, really cute. Um, I was having a little trouble deciding on how to mold them, but I think I did a really good job. Not at all how I thought they would turn out, even though that's how I wanted them to. So, the movie Emma that we went and saw yesterday, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. I would watch it again. It was odd in some parts. They didn't really change the story, so, you know, that's a plus right there. I hate when people do that. Um, didn't change the story, and the actors were really good. I love Billy Nye and Miranda Hart. They're my favorites. And... They were really funny in there. In the show, the, the guy, um, Johnny Flynn, who plays Mr. Knightley, he's not too bad looking. <laughs> he played a really good Mr. Knightley, and I still like the original better, but for something a little more modern day, I think it worked. Definitely watch it again. Sarah, my friend that I went with, has never seen the original, so she will definitely be watching that one. The one with uh, going to the Paltrow in it anyway. And I know there's a TV show one that has like Michael Gambon in it. I'm going to have to watch that one. Alright you guys. How about the soap? All drag marks in it. <laughs> I'm going to smooth them out though. That's for sure. I'm going to try to turn it on its side. and Let's see if that works. Because they really are driving crazy. Let's see. Let's see. No, that's just not going to work. I think I need a better soap cutter because of things like this. Or I just need to not put botanicals on top of high top soap. So, one or the other. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This soap will be available on April 24th, the next shop update. If you loved watching me make this soap, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you like watching soap making and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. Stay tuned because when I get done cutting these, I'm going to take some melt and pour and glue those little flowers on the front. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later.